Hello everyone, welcome to my session. This is Rajesh Reddy. Today, our chapter is Rational Numbers. In this, the previous session, which we continued about the properties of rational numbers. And now, today, very important topic is about role of zero and role of one. So, what is the role of zero and what is the role of one? So, here zero is a zero is a plays an important role. Zero plays an important role as well as one also. So, how we can uh, say those are? Let me see uh, examples. For example, zero. So, any number. Let us take any number three plus. 0. So, I hope you can say the answer 3 plus 0. What is the answer here? 3. And any other number 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. Here, whatever the rational number we are adding to the 0 or any rational number is adding to the 0, then what we are getting the same rational number is as answer. So, here 3 plus 0 answer is 3 and 7 plus 0 is equal to answer is 7. Right. Now, 7 and 7. The same rational number will be the answer. Means, there is no change in the sum. So, that's why, the, let us take that a plus 0 is equal to a. So, here what? What is the 0 rule here? It is not changing the value. That's why, it is also called as Additive identity. Additive identity. So, 0 is called as additive. So, additive identity. Why additive identity? Just now we have seen few examples. When 0 is added to any rational number, the answer is the same rational number. Means, there is no change in the sum or in the answer. That's why, 0 is called as additive identity. So, I hope you have understood. So, we can say that a plus 0 is equal to a. So, that we are getting the same answer means there is no change in the sum. That's why 0 is called as additive identity. So, roll of 0 means 0 is nothing but additive identity. Let us see about the roll of 1. Here, we have checked the sum and let us see here product. So, let me multiply the with a 1. For example, 3 ones are. So, 3 into 1, same value. For example, 5 into 1, 5, same answer. And 10 into 1, so answer is 10. So, here you can observe 3 and 3, the same rational number. When it is multiplied with the product as 1, so product multiplied with 1, so product is 3. So, 5 into 1, so product is 5, 10 into 1, so product is 10, means the same rational number we are getting, means any number when it is multiplied with 1, the answer is the same number, so for example, a into 1 is equal to a, means here, when a rational number is multiplied with 1, the product is a same rational number, means it remains the same, it is not changing. That's why it is called as multiplicative identity. So, 1 is called as 1 is called as multiplicative identity. So, here 0 is called as additive identity. Means any number is adding to the 0 or 0 is added to any rational number. The answer is the same rational number. And here, 1. When 1 is multiplied with any rational number, so answer is the same rational number. So, that it is called as multiplicative identity and 0 is called as additive identity. So, I hope you understand the role of 0 and the role of 1 in the part of the maths. So, that it is additive identity, it is as multiplicative identity. And one more, now let us see additive inverse and multiplicative inverse. So, what is additive inverse? So, what is multiplicative inverse? So, let us see with examples. So, what is 
multiplicative and what is additive inverse. So let us see the first additive inverse. So additive inverse. For example, a number we have taken as seven. Okay, it is what plus seven. So what about this minus seven? Right. So here plus and here minus. So that seven additive inverse is minus seven. So that <coughs> additive inverse is minus seven means the symbols are different. For example, minus five additive inverse is so minus five here minus. So what is additive inverse? Plus five. <coughs> so that for example here we can see seven and minus seven. Answer is what? Zero means. Now a rational number and its inverse. A rational number and its additive inverse is zero. When we add a rational number and its additive inverse, then the answer is zero. Uh, like that only minus five and the additive inverse is plus five, then sum is equal to zero. Therefore, what do we say? A additive inverse is minus a, then the answer is zero. So I hope you understand about the additive inverse. For example, three by five. So can you say additive inverse? What is additive inverse? Only change the number minus three by five. So just change the symbol. Sorry, just change the symbol. Three by five additive inverse is minus three by five. So this is what additive inverse. Right means a is a rational number. When we are adding its additive inverse, the sum should be equal to zero. That's why a additive inverse is minus a. Three by five additive inverse is minus three by five, and minus five additive inverse is plus five. So let us come to the multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative inverse. So what is multiplicative inverse? <coughs> Any rational number two by seven. So we should take the reciprocals. Here we should not concentrate on the symbols. Whatever the symbols, we are not going to change it. But in additive inverse, we are only changing the symbol. In the multiplicative inverse, we have to take its reciprocal. So what is the reciprocal? Seven by two. So two by seven multiplicative inverse is seven by two. So let us multiply both of them. You can see two by seven into seven by two. So what is the answer? Two and two cancel. Seven seven. So the answer is one. So what we are getting here? One means what? A rational number and its multiplicative inverse. The product is equal to one. The product is equal to one. So, for example, minus eight by seven. So, what is its uh, multiplicative inverse? Here, symbol is not considered. Symbol is as it is. Only the value should be reciprocal. We have to take the reciprocal so that we can take seven by eight. So, minus eight by seven multiplicative inverse is minus seven by eight. Here, only the Rational number a by b should be as b by a. Okay, that is what multiplicative inverse. And here in additive inverse, we have to change the symbol. So additive symbol we have to remember, and multiplicative reciprocal we have to remember. So let you practice more problems based on this topic so that you understand more perfectly. And thank you for watching. Thank you.